Sleeping on the floor. <laughs> Look at all the toys. The boys are getting matching harnesses and leashes for being a good boy today. Yes. Milo, you was a good boy today? Wow, look at brother. Where's brother? Wait, let me get you guys. Hi, brother. <laughs> they definitely are not used to this floor. So, my husband thinks that the 12 through 30 is so easy. Dang, you touched the ceiling. I can't run on this. this. You're not running. You're just walking. <laughs> Careful. He's going to do five minutes of it. I can't even do it. Every time uh -huh. I walk, I hit the ceiling. I have to walk like this. I can't it. <laughs> you can't? It's, it's inclined. Oh, <laughs> you can't. It's still going up. <laughs> Wait. Look, babe, it's still going up. And that's okay. Stop. Look, you literally yeah, right. This, no, I know you can't do it. I'm gonna put it at three speed, and you're gonna see how fast that is. That for 30 minutes straight. Light work. That's light work. I know you can't do it because of the space. This is our you laundry room. Walk in the school. You know, in high school. Walk yeah, you're not in high school place. anymore. 12% above, so it's like you're walking a hill, three miles per hour, which is still pretty hard. I am on the road for my first road trip drive, and I'm so excited because I'm driving it. It's about an hour-ish, an hour and a half, so I'm so excited. I'm gonna take you guys along. I'll see you guys there. So I just made it to the hotel. I'm so excited. I'm gonna show you guys and give you a tour before everything gets messy. So this is the entry, and we have a full body mirror here, so I get to see my little OOTDs. This was my little driving outfit. I'm a professional driver, apparently. And then we have the whole fam over here. Say hi. hi. They came to help bring everything. And look how pretty this room is. Like the space is so nice. JJ and Joy made themselves at home apparently. Yep. Yeah, comfortable. Yeah, staying here? Yeah. <laughs> Nerd. <laughs> so we have the bed. <laughs> We have the bed here. Over here we have the little chair. And here we have the little desk. So I'll be doing my work here for the next couple of days. And the TV, which is nice. And then, <laughs> and then here is so cool because we have a little view, like a little balcony. Yeah, I show over here. Como se abrieron la vuelta? Oh, you look playing para privacy. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna get you. Cool. And look at the view from our balcony, it's so pretty. It's super late today, but it's skylights. So in the morning, it's gonna look so beautiful. Definitely gonna be working down here and filming and stuff because it's so beautiful. We saw cicadas for the first time, right guys? There was one, there was a whole bunch, oh. more than 10 dead and oh. one alive. Literally they huge, don't I've never seen the cicadas before. I was so and scared. they are huge. So we're gonna go eat now at a restaurant before everybody leaves. I'm gonna eat everything. We're gonna eat some Mexican food. Oh, they just came from the pool? I can't wait to go to, oh, I forgot to ask them about the gym. Hungry? Daddy, Everybody hungry? Yeah, yeah. We're gonna 
We're we gonna go eat, eat now. Mexican, Mexican food, food, tacos, young taco, quesadillas. Quesadilla, oh, tell them chili. About, how was my driving? Oh, you, you're professional. I I'm a professional. She's driver. a professional. Already. I was following oh, him. Yeah. Oh, right? I, I was keeping up. I went 75 miles. She's so point. good. 80, 80, Casi 80. 80. Yeah. Ya yo soy profesional. Profesional. Señores. Una, una chofera. Una chofera. <laughs> Va a salir agresiva. Agresiva. Hay que meterse. <laughs> <laughs> well, my I mom is my co-pilot and I trusted my life with her yeah, in United. <laughs> and this is only my second time driving highways and Yay. I drove for an hour and a half which is crazy so I'm so proud of myself now let's go so eat because go. everybody's hungry <laughs> I just finished unpacking and I'm watching Friends. Well, there's a commercial right now, but I'm gonna show you guys how I put everything away. I brought a ring light because I am gonna be filming content here as well. It's gonna be a work trip for sure. So this is gonna be my little area, my little background for the next couple of days. So I'm gonna show you guys how I unpack my stuff. I'm gonna lower the TV because it's probably a little too loud. But let me know if you guys are the type of person who immediately unpack or do you guys like live out of your suitcase I'm interested in finding out I am gonna be here for like a weekish, so I definitely need to unpack I'm the type of person to unpack no matter where I go so I did just finish putting everything away I'm gonna show you guys what I brought what hair product products I bought some clothes we're also gonna be going to the gym so I'm so I separated all of that so let me show you guys so these are all of the shoes that I brought on the trip but to my defense we did stop at Marshall's and I was was able to find some really good deals on some new sneakers that I really were looking for for working out and stuff so I got these which I changed into because they're so comfortable also got these and last but not least I got these sneakers which are also super duper comfortable and then I also found these really cute sandals which are trending the original brand I don't remember what it's called but I do want to invest in a pair because they are so so nice and comfortable so I can only imagine like the original brand but this one was only $16.99 and they're super comfortable at Marshalls and these are also really really comfortable I also got them at Marshalls a while ago I feel like most of these shoes are from Marshalls except for the Air Force One and these these were from Macy's and these are from Boohoo but that is my neutral shoe selection literally all neutral colors and then I separated everything by category so I have my socks underwear and my bras here here I have my PJs some tops and workout clothes and then last but not least I have my bottoms my denim shorts and some leggings and in the closet I have sweaters in case it gets cold I also picked up a candle from Marshall's I just don't have a lighter it smells really good but um, um, I just don't have a lighter to light it up. This is a little desk station. I didn't bring a tripod for my camera, so I'm using the garbage can as a little box to give me some height so you guys are not seeing double chins all the time. <laughs> So that is that. Also, I bought my face steamer because this is game changing. It just takes my nighttime and daytime skincare routine to another level. Tonight, I want to do this moisturizing foot mask for my feet because the toes are looking rough. Toes are looking rough. So we want to, you know, moisturize them. And I'm glad there's a nice big desk here so that I can edit, I can work. And last but not least, I can film. I always travel with my own mirror. So this is the one that I brought because this one's really nice and big. Okay, now hair care here. Here's what I brought. This is what's currently in my hair. I've been using this as a one product wash and go. And I really do like it because it really does give me great hold for my curls. I brought the As I Am Refresher Spray. I haven't used this really, so I wanted to give it a shot. So I brought that. And of course, the OGX Prakashi Oil Combing Cream I brought. Got some Mayel Organics Styling Gel. I have a deep conditioner because I'm gonna be going to the pool since there's a pool here. 
so I always have to make sure my hair is deep conditioned and then I'll be using this for my edges. Since I wasn't gonna bring my huge eco styler gel, I brought this and then for shampoo and conditioner, I brought some new products, so we're fully stocked over here. The body wash that I brought from Bath & Body Works, it smells so delicious. This is my favorite scent. And then these are the shampoo and conditioner from Aveda, which I haven't tried, so I figured why not give it a try. And then the Aussie co-wash for after the pool, some shaving cream, and this. that is that. I think that's it. Hey guys, good morning. It is the next day. I just finished refreshing my hair because I didn't want to have it in a bun. I did my workout this morning, had some breakfast, and now I'm gonna go run some errands, probably go to Target. I forgot my edge brush and there's a mini fridge here, so I wanna get some coffee so I don't have to go to Starbucks every day for coffee, but I am gonna treat myself to some coffee today. I feel like my camera is slanted. There we go. So today's refreshing technique, I actually tried two new products combination today and I hope that my hair stays nice. It's kind of going to be a testing day because I'm going to go to the pool later on today at like three ish. So we have some time for my hair to air dry and I thought it was a perfect time to test out new products. So I refresh my hair using the As I Am, the Jamaica Black Castor Oil Water and this is what it looks like. I bought this a while ago. I just never actually used it. So I'm using it today. I didn't use actual water at all. This is the liquid that wet my hair. So I hope that it's not producty, but I noticed that just using this product by itself, my hair was frizzy still. So I didn't want to saturate it too much with this product because again, I don't want my hair to be producty. And so I got this one that my mom picked up at Marshall's. This is the Aunt Jackie's Not On My Watch Instant Detangling Therapy Detangler. And this one has amazing slip. So I applied some of that on my hair as well, just for some more holds. And immediately I saw my frizz disappear so i was like okay so i just went back and apply it to like the small sections i use my little 
Denman brush, which is not really a Denman brush, but I like it so much more than the Denman brush because it's wider and it has curves. And I just noticed that my curls are a little bit more defined than the actual Denman brush, which is very surprising. So that's that. So I'm very excited about that. And so I'm going to go ahead and air dry and let's go get some Starbucks and go to Target and see what's around this area. I'm here in Marshalls and I'm looking for some tops because I actually didn't really bring many tops. So far I have two. This one's really cute. It's a basic v-neck but it has the little spaghetti strap which is really cute and then I also have a white one. I'm gonna look around to see what I find because I want to film a couple videos but I don't have like cute tops to film them in so that's what I'm doing right now and then I'm gonna go to Target to get some essential. I'm at Target now, my hair's looking all crazy, and I am currently looking for a candle lighter. Yay, I found one. Obviously not like the typical electric one, but that is okay, because I bought candles that I wanna light, which I don't know why I did not pack my lighter, but that is okay. I also found some really cute tops here at Target. Like how cute this bathing suit is. So stinking cute. Some more tops. I'll give you guys a little haul later on but more top hey guys good morning it's the next day today is friday so i've been here for a couple of days and i've come to the realization that i'm not feeling it here i had originally planned to stay here for a week but I'm not feeling it so i'm going to be going to a different hotel I'm actually going to be going to AC, which I'm so excited about because I haven't been there in never. I've never been to AC and I think it's going to be fun. There's more things to do there, especially now for the weekend. I think it's going to be really fun. The beach is there. I'm looking forward to just being a beach bum and laying by the beach, drinking a piña colada. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. And I'm really excited to go on the road again. It's about an hour and a half away from where I am, which is great practice. I feel like by the end of this trip, I am going to be a professional driver at this I am struggling to put this earring on but I feel like at the end of this trip I'm definitely going to be a professional driver like professional I've done highways I've merged I've switched lanes I've gone up to like 75 um, miles per hour which is really cool and really big for me because hello I have not done highways before I'm gonna be getting ready so that I can actually sit down, chit chat with you guys, talk to you guys for a little bit because I feel like I really haven't talked to you guys. So I'm gonna do my makeup, first time doing my makeup in what feels like forever. It's been a couple days since I've done, haven't done my makeup. So I'm gonna sit, take some time to just be in the zone. I'm wearing this like really cute t-shirt that I got from Target and I really wanted to wear it with like biker shorts. And I'm gonna be wearing like the high socks with the Air Force Ones. I actually want to wear this Victoria's Secret bombshell perfume so I could smell yummy. I also bought my face steamer. Oh, you guys saw that. But I brought my face steamer because I was like, this is going to be a self-care week and I wanted to bring my face steamer. And <coughs> Ill. I literally just ate all of the perfume that I just sprayed on myself. I don't have that much time because I do have to pack up the room. If you guys see the room right now, it's pretty messy because I went back to Target. I went to Marshalls. I found some really good stuff. So the room is pretty messy. I have been using this Glory discoloration Oil, which I feel like has been working. I mean, I haven't been using it that, that long to give you guys like a full review, but I am definitely playing around with it to see if I really like it because it's so hyped about online. I think I'm going to start with the Dermalogica Pure Night SPF 50. When I woke up, it was like 7 a.m. and it was 60 degrees, but it's going to go up to 82 degrees today. So it's going to be really warm. So I definitely need to put my SPF on, make sure that we're keeping the skin nice and protected from the sun. Especially for me, I get a lot of hyperpigmentation when I have a pimple, even if I don't pop it, just whenever there's any kind of like acne, acne. I was going to say acne because that's like the supermarket that I go to. Just had to fix the bed really quick because me and backgrounds is a big thing and that messy bed was bothering me so I had to make it really quick. I'm going to be testing out a new, well it's not really a new foundation. I actually got this last week, sometime last week. And I used to love 
the Ultra HD Foundation from Makeup Forever, but it's been a minute since I've used it. When I bought it, I used it up so fast, and I don't know why I never repurchased it because it is one of those foundations that are just so dang good. Getting over here was an hour and a half around there. It was just under an hour and a half, so it wasn't that bad. I was a little scared. I'm not gonna lie, like coming over here, I was a little nervous. I was like hesitant because I drove my first highway on Sunday and I didn't drive Monday. I drove on Tuesday and then Wednesday I drove an hour and a half. So it was technically like my second time doing highways and so doing it was definitely a big deal and yeah. I'm very proud of myself. I, I will say that. I am very proud of myself for pushing myself way out of my comfort zone because when I tell you guys, I was scared to get on the highway. I was scared. The first time I literally almost pooped my pants. I was like, oh my God, like I'm really doing this. Like nobody could do this for me. Like I have to be the one to do it for myself. So I have to push myself to do it and I did it. And I'm so proud of myself because now look at where I'm at, you know, like look at what I can do, look at where I can go and yeah that is that this trip for me is a little mental break i would say uh i don't want to really go into details because i'm going through you know life right now so i don't really want to go into depth but i am incredibly grateful to have a car and be able to do spontaneous trips like this you know whenever i do take an actual vacation like i will show you guys the pack with me the outfits and all that this trip was more of a spontaneous i want a change of scenery type of trip so it wasn't really planned like i thought about it and i did it so that's like the backstory of the trip in case you guys are wondering the lighting in this hotel is terrible i'm so happy i brought my own ring light because if i did not bring my ring light then i really will be struggling if i didn't have the ring light this is what the light will look like The camera's trying to brighten it up, but can you imagine? Like, you can't see anything with the ring light. See? Big difference. <laughs> Huge difference. my makeup i just put my hair in a little tie because i don't know why but it's like not falling right you guys see my ponytail is like a little droopy i'm trying to give it some more volume i'm gonna finish up my makeup my battery is blinking and i want to charge it so that i can get some footage on the road because i didn't get any footage because i was like too nervous to like worry about filming anything but i do want to get some footage now like driving back so hopefully i can get some footage so i'm gonna go ahead finish my makeup i'll show you guys the finished makeup look i'll see you guys once i'm done doing my makeup so that i can charge my cameras <laughs> ready and I am ready to head out um there are so many cicadas here and that's another reason why I'm out of here because the amount of cicadas that are here absolutely disgusting I've never seen so many of these in my entire life and I literally want to like throw up I'm itchy it's gross let me show you guys look at this look at how big these things are I don't I don't think it's doing it any justice I don't want him to fly on me there was literally one just on me Ooh gross and they're everywhere literally everywhere Ugh. 